And Team 12's Jonathan McCall spent the day reading the report line by line, and he is joining us tonight with more details. Jonathan? Yeah, Mark Caribe, it is not good. That report, looking at how the Arizona Department of Child Services investigated, resolved, and monitored group homes and foster homes after receiving complaints. Get this, in one case, the report found that the state took as long as 406 days to investigate complaints, but the most troubling to tell for more than a year, nearly three dozen foster and group homes did not have any state oversight. The just released 35 page report from the Arizona Auditor General is revealing a disturbing lack of accountability from the Department of Child Services in monitoring the state's nearly 2,700 group and foster homes. Among the findings, nearly 36 foster and group homes were not monitored for 16 months by the state. The agency was slow to investigate complaints and to take action on complaints deemed valid. In one instance, it took 406 days for the state to look into three complaints at one facility. The report also revealing that some allegations were never investigated and that children were never interviewed during some of those investigations. The worst possible investment we can make is putting a child in a group home. Luis de la Cruz is executive director of the nonprofit Arizona Friends for Foster Children Foundation. He says the 40-year organization fills in the gaps where the state lacks for foster children. He calls the report troubling, but not surprising. Uh, one of the challenges when you're in foster care, and I know this because I was myself, is that you don't have anybody advocating for you. For more than a year, the 12 News I team has been pressing DCS for answers about accountability at group and foster homes. In 2022, a teen was shot and killed by another teen at a Phoenix group home where guns and drugs had been found just days before the shooting. Workers telling the 12 News I team that DCS ignored years of red flags and reports. I've been saying something for a long time. There's a lot of kids there with not a lot of oversight. According to the Auditor General's report, the lack of accountability may have allowed facilities to operate with risky or unhealthy environments. We live in a world of realistic alternatives. If we don't put them in a group home, where else do we put them? De La Cruz knows that the department is fighting an uphill battle with a lack of resources, with workers and funding. But he says without more community support and outside of the box thinking. We will continue to see uh, these kinds of things happen, I suspect, until we can address the issue at its core. According to that report, the Department of Child Services will implement 12 recommendations made by the Auditor General's report. They plan to follow up in six months for a status check. Right now, 12 News has reached out to DCS for comment, but so far we have yet to hear back. You can read that entire report from the Auditor General right now at 12news.com.